Hello, Cancer. This is your December reading. I know I am late, you guys, but your girl has had some things going on. But I am here for you now. All right. I see three of wands there. What are we waiting on? Somebody in particular? It's Aries energy. Okay. Maybe you are. But you see something coming together, but it's not coming together as fast as you would want it to or how you want it to. What is the energy around my cancer friends? The hanging man, Piscean energy here. There's a situation that I feel like is stuck. There's no movement here. Okay. Um, and I fear there's no movement because maybe either you guys or could be both of you um, are choosing not to. Okay, I, I'm feeling like somebody is waiting on the other one to do something, even though they know that they want to do something. Okay, it could be vice versa, it could be both of you. Okay, what is crossing my cancers? Look at that, three of wands comes up again. Hmm, you're waiting, you're waiting on someone else. And I feel like, to be honest with you, what I'm getting for some of you is that you're waiting on someone that does not know that you're waiting on them. Okay? This person, you know, they have their back turned and they're looking out. So I'm feeling like this person is, is not expecting you and they don't feel like you're expecting them. Okay? What is the underlying issue here for cancer? Ace of Cups. For some of you, you've realized something about somebody that, oh, look at that. Three of Cups there. That's your energy, Cancer energy. Um, I think the underlying issue here is that maybe your feelings have evolved for someone and this person does not know that your feelings have evolved for them. Okay? I think you have more feelings for someone now than what you did before and they don't know it. Okay, I think you would love to spend time with this person. Just go out, you know, see if if there's a spark there. See if there's um, a connection there. Okay, let's see in the recent past for my cancers. Seven of Pentacles. There's that waiting. This is a situation too. I feel like you guys have already invested in previously. Taurus energy could be Aries Taurus individual um, but I definitely get there's some history here you guys have spent some time together some quality time together before and um, this is somebody I feel like once upon a time you felt like maybe you know this was the one I think maybe you are coming you are coming around to feeling like you know maybe this is the one again okay Chronic thoughts for my cancers. The chariot. Your energy is so strong right now. That is your card. Um, the chariot is all about, you know, personal success. But I feel like this is, you know, in your seventh house, your house of partnership. Okay. What is your seventh house? Huh. Let's see. If you are a cancer rising... You have, let's see, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, I mean, Cancer, Leo, I'm counting my fingers, guys, <laughs> Cancer, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius. I feel like you guys are ready to, to be with that one. Like, I feel like you've done a lot of, of dating before, um, but I feel like right now there, there's like this necessity to be with that one. And I'm feeling like whoever you have your, your mind on right now, your brain on, that is a person that you feel like is the one. And I feel like you really want to, um, you know, see where it goes with them. But I think that you kind of feel like you kind of feel defeated. Is what I'm getting here. Like maybe, maybe for some of you, you think it's too late. 
maybe too much time has passed if this is somebody from your deep past um that you still kind of like you know communicate he here and there with um but i do feel like you guys really want to move forward with this person um, that you've spent this quality time with that you still have these feelings for and your feelings are getting stronger I feel with separation for some of you okay what is coming in for cancer it's coming in for cancers the knight of Pentacles this is very slow movement I do feel like you know there's somebody here um, I don't feel like this person is very aware though of exactly how you guys feel I feel like this person's always been there is the thing this is the thing this person's always been there this is somebody that does not um, what 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 is the I'm trying to say um, this person doesn't take hints like that this is a very straightforward type of person that um, you will need to probably just come out your mouth and say, hey, can we go have a drink? I'm interested in you. I want to see where this goes. This is not somebody that you're going to be able to throw a hint to and they catch it. Okay. Very kind of down to earth, very, um, you know, upfront. So they appreciate frankness, this person. Um, I, I feel like they, hang on one second, guys. Sorry guys, that was my cousin at the door. But anyway, this is somebody that that will be there for you. This person's already here. Okay, I think you know if you opened up and said something to them um, about what it is that you would like to do, I think this person would definitely be open to it. But I don't think they'll move um, too fast with you guys. Okay, or in general. What did I do with my glasses? Okay, put these glasses back on. All right. How is Cancer feeling about this situation? How is Cancer feeling about this situation? Oh, the Tower. Scorpio, Aries energy. You're not too sure about it. And I, and I get that. I see the hanging man here. You know, you feel like, you know, there's really not much that you can do. Um just kind of taking your hands off of it but I do get that you guys you know would like for this person to take notice of you maybe you have been giving little signs and symbols up until now and this person hasn't caught it and so you just feel like you know what well, maybe you know it's just not gonna happen but as I stated before this person you know they're they're very frank so they appreciate frankness so um, I don't think they've caught the hints if you've thrown some okay Let's see what the influence is here. What is the influence here? The sun. Huh, enlightenment. This person is looking back at the sun. This person is very confident who they are. They are very confident in who they are. I'm feeling Taurus, Leo energy here, Cancer. Um, could be another cancer like yourself or it could be somebody with cancer in their chart aries energies here but um, i do get that you guys really want to be happy you really want to um you know live your life uninhibited and th so does this person this person's very uninhibited whoever this is very upfront um i do get that this is a good uh prospect for you guys here but you don't see where there's any um foundation to be built upon with this person I'm, I'm getting that there's like a disconnect not that you guys don't speak or you know periodically but there I think there's like an emotional disconnect between the two of you probably because you guys have not been together for a while but um, yeah you see happiness with this person I do believe hopes or fears for cancer Queen of Pentacles. Huh. I think you really do want this person to be there for you. That's your hope. That this person may, you know, want to at some point get married. At least be in a committed relationship. Be there for you. You be there for them. Um, that they will, you know, show more emotions towards you. And possibly initiate something with you is your hope. 
What's the overall outcome here? Okay. Eight of Pentacles. All right. I like it. Virgo energy. Eight of Pentacles is all about um, staying the course, working towards something. But, you know, to get to that point, it does take hard work and determination. I didn't realize my camera had cut off until I had tried to stop the video, guys. So, um, that's all I have for you. I basically completed my thoughts. And um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.